Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going through the top um, dumbest decisions that most people make in Black Ops 4. Now this is basically only applies to my player. Um, it doesn't apply to Blackout or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight into this. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and a sub. And turn those notifications on if you guys do not want to miss out on any more of these videos. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into this. So... Um, First off, I'm going to be starting off with the number one dumbest decision that most people make, and that is heading into the middle of the map. Now, there's many, many reasons why I say this, and one of those is because um, when you're into the middle of the map, there's going to be so many different angles that you're going to be able to get shot from, and basically, when you do this, um, like you're going to get shot from the back, you're going to get shot from the front, from your left to your right, literally every single angle possible there will be someone there um, and you can get shot from so many different angles and you're just going to end up dying because obviously if you're getting shot from like three different angles at once then you're going to definitely just end up dying so so easily um, but that is the number one tip to counter this and to stop doing this I recommend just sticking to the edges of the map I do this pretty much every single Call of Duty and that is to stick to the edges of the map now the reason I say this is because the outside of the map, you know that there's obviously not going to be anyone there, so you do not have to worry about that angle. You only have to worry about the angles in front of you, or the angles where there's obviously going to be enemies. Um, so that is the number one thing. Now the next thing is using the same exact weapon on every single map. Now different maps have different kind of play styles and that means that you have to use different weapons. So let's say for example um, if it's a bigger map then um, a lot of people like if you're a new player you'll just be using the same weapons maybe you'll stick on an SMG and that'll be a massive mistake. If you're playing on a big map where there's a lot of open places such as Icebreaker if you're using an SMG on Icebreaker then you're going to be at a huge huge disadvantage to everyone else on the map because Icebreaker a lot of the times people use assault rifles, snipers and um, LMGs so if you're there using a SMG on Icebreaker and stuff like that you're going to be outgunned so so easily by those people now um, so let's say for example you play in firing range. Firing range is a more of a SMG kind of assault rifle map. So um, I recommend you guys just playing it safe. Um, if it's a smaller map, then use an SMG on or assault rifle or something like that. But if an, if it's in a bigger map, then don't use an SMG. Um, you've got to be smart when picking what weapon to use on certain kind of maps. And new players, you probably won't really think about that, and you'll probably just stick on an SMG on every single map you play or you'll be using the same as that weapon on every single map you play. Now the next dumbest decision that most people make is not looking at your minimap enough. Now the reason I say this is because the minimap will give you so many different hints and um, it will help you out so much. Honestly I can't stress it enough just look at your minimap as much as you can. 50% um, of the time I will be looking at the minimap and 50% of the time I will be concentrating on the other on the other part of the screen. Um, so the minimap will give you so many different um, kind of uh, things. So for example you'll be able to see where your teammates are. You might not think seeing where your teammates are can be that helpful but it can be very helpful because then you'll know where the enemies are because the team the enemies are usually the other side of the map to your, your to your teammates um so pay attention to that also pay attention to um when your teammates get uavs uavs in this game are absolutely terrible by the way um like they need to fix it it gives you i counted it yesterday and it gives you four pings on the map that is absolutely ridiculous um, they really need to add like a hater in or something, I really really want one because it would make it so much easier to get nukes and stuff like that um, but anyway, I'm getting off topic there um, so yeah, just look at the minimap, you'll be able to see where your enemies are, where your teammates are and you'll be able to just have so many different it'll give you so many indications to where to go and stuff like that now the last thing I'm going to be talking about is not healing enough so not healing enough after gunfight so a lot of the time I see my teammates they will just get into a gunfight and then they will just stand there they won't heal they won't heal they have so much time to heal but they don't heal all you have to do to press it to heal is press one button and then you're healed that's all you got to do and 
I recommend doing this pretty much after every single gunfight. Now, maybe not every single gunfight because sometimes it's better not to because you might be in a bad situation where there is more than one enemy. But if you know it's safe to um, to heal, then just heal. So, for example, whenever I get into a gunfight, the first thing I think about is do I have to heal and do I have to reload? So, um, for example, if I get into a gunfight and I take any damage whatsoever, when I win that gunfight and when I kill the other person, I'll quickly think, do I need to reload? I'll look at my reload, um, my ammo count, and I'll see if I have to reload um, first. So, for example, if I still have a lot of bullets in my magazine, then I will heal first, but if I don't have that many bullets in my magazine, then I will actually go ahead and reload first. Um, so you've got to make decisions like that. Um, but anyway, that has pretty much been it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and a sub. Um, these tips are very, very helpful. Definitely recommend you guys listen to what I've said and take them into mind. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a sub. And turn those notifications on if you guys do not want to miss out on any more videos like this. I do have many more to come. Also, leave me some suggestions down below. And also, um, give me some questions down below of, for example, maybe you guys need help with a certain thing. Maybe it's your positioning on the map. Maybe it's um, how to win more gunfights. Something like that. Just leave me a suggestion down below of what you guys want me to cover next in my video, and I will go ahead and do that. But anyway, once again, that has been it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully these tips did help you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.